Hello friends, welcome to Unity Scripting API Time Essentials video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we understood time dot delta time, time dot fixed delta time, time dot time scale, time dot time, and time dot real time since startup. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss time dot time since level load. Time since level load is a public static variable inside the time class. It's a float variable. Time dot time since level load returns time passed in seconds since the level has been loaded. We know that time dot time returns time passed in seconds since the game has been started. Whereas time since level load returns time passed in seconds since the level has been loaded. That means if you want to keep track of game play time, then you take help of time dot time. If you want to keep track of level play time, then you can take help of time dot time since level load guys. Time dot time since level load is affected by time dot time scale. That is, if game is paused, then time dot time since level load will also be paused guys. It scales or descales according to time dot time scale value. Let's have a demo and understand everything clearly. I go to Unity. I right click here, say create, say C sharp script. I name it time manager hit enter. You can see that time manager.cs file is created. I select the main camera, say add component, say scripts, say time manager. You can see that I have attached time manager script to the main camera so that I can execute it. I double click on time manager.cs file to open it inside the mono develop. You can see that time manager.cs file is open inside the mono develop. I hold down the control key and I scroll the mouse wheel so that I can zoom it. I delete the unnecessary code. I delete these three lines of code, say delete. I delete this comment. I delete this comment. In the start method, I say debug.log and I say here time dot time since level load. Bracket close semicolon. We know that time since level load is a float variable. I am going to convert it into an integer. I copy this code and paste in the update also. File, save, go to Unity. I click on the console window so that we can see the output inside the console window. Once I click on the play button, you will see here time since level load displayed continuously. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? It is updating and getting displayed. If I pause the gameplay, you can see that time since level load is also paused. If I resume, it updates 14, 15, 16, 17, Pause. You can see that we have paused at 19 and if I resume, it will be 20, 21, 22. So, time since level load is affected by the game play. If game is paused, then time dot time since level load will also be paused guys. I told you that it scales or descales according to time dot time scale value. That means if I go back here, in the start method I say, time dot time scale equals to 1f that is the normal speed file save go to unity if i click on the play button you will see time since level load updated at the normal speed right that's the normal speed 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 normal speed stop i go back here and say time dot time scale 10 that means now time dot time since level load is updated 10 times faster guys file save go to unity if i click on the play button you will see time since level load displayed 10 times faster you can see that it is updating faster right i stop i go back here and say just twice now time dot time since level load is updated twice faster file save go to unity if I click on the play button, you will see it is updated twice faster. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, like that. So that's the reason I told here time dot time since level load is affected by time dot time scale. Remember that time dot time since level load you can use to keep track of level play time, whereas time dot time you can use to keep track of game play time. I think for this video tutorial, this much is enough, friends. I suggest you people to watch this video again and again, understand everything clearly, try the course yourself, experiment with more examples. 
I suggest you people to watch the time dot time video tutorial as well as watch time dot real time since startup video tutorial and this video tutorial to understand everything more clearly guys. In the upcoming video tutorials, we are going to discuss more about Unity. For more benefits and be up to date, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like, comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited. Keep learning, keep coding, keep sharing. Thank you guys. Thank you very much. See you in the next tutorial.